This is Fahad Sifaraz and I will be presenting my joint work with Lahe Arani and Baram Zanus on sparse coding in a dual memory system for lifelong learning. Lifelong learning refers to the ability to continually acquire, consolidate and retain knowledge, which is a hallmark of intelligence. Standard deep neural networks, however, are designed for static learning and exhibit catastrophic forgetting of previously learned knowledge when required to learn tasks sequentially from a stream of data. Our challenge in enabling lifelong learning in deep neural networks is to maintain an optimal balance between the plasticity and stability of the model. Ideally, the model should be stable enough to retain previous knowledge while also plastic enough to acquire and consolidate knowledge. Among the different approaches proposed to address catastrophic forgetting, rehearsal-based methods which aim to reduce forgetting by continual rehearsal of previously seen tasks using a small buffer have proven to be an effective approach. However, due to the limited buffer size, it is difficult to approximate the joint distribution with the samples alone, and also there is an inherent imbalance between the samples of previous tasks and the current task. This results in the network update being biased towards the current task, leading to forgetting and recency bias in prediction. Therefore, more information from the previous state of the model is needed to better approximate the joint distribution and constrain the update of the model to preserve the learned knowledge. Furthermore, reducing the interference between the learned representations can further reduce forgetting. As the human brain provides an existing proof for successful lifelong learning in complex, dynamic environments, it can provide insights into the design principles and mechanisms that can enable lifelong learning in deep neural networks. Lifelong learning in the brain is facilitated by a complex set of mechanisms and the effective use of multiple memory systems. Information in the brain is represented by neural activation patterns which form a neural code. Specifically, evidence suggests that the brain employs sparse coding in which sensory events are represented by strong activations of a relatively small set of neurons. A different subset of neurons is used for each stimulus and there is a correlation between these sparse codes that could capture the similarity between different stimuli. Notably, sparse codes provide several advantages. They can enable faster learning of new association with controlled interference with previous associations while retaining sufficient representation capacity. Inspired by these insights, we hypothesize that employing a principled mechanism to encourage sparse coding in deep neural networks and mimicking the interplay of multiple memory systems can be effective in mitigating forgetting. To this end, we propose Palmer a multi-memory experience replay mechanism that employs sparse coding. We enforce activation sparsity along with a complementary dropout mechanism which encourages the model to activate similar units for semantically similar inputs while reducing the overlap with activation patterns of semantically dissimilar inputs. This is essentially achieved by tracking the class-wise activations during training and encouraging samples from the same class to activate similar set of neurons while also controlling the overlap in the sparse codes of different classes. Furthermore, we maintain additional long-term semantic memory that aggregates the information encoded in the synaptic weights of the working memory. Long-term memory interacts with these episodic memory to retrieve structural knowledge from previous tasks and facilitates information consolidation by enforcing consistency in the function space. We now look at the main components of our method in detail. Firstly, to mimic sparse coding, we enforce the sparsity in activations using the k-winner take all activation function. Notably, we adapt the common implementation to take into account the functional integrity of an individual convolutional filter as an independent feature extractor, which enables the formation of task-specific subnetworks with specialized feature extractors and a complementary semantic dropout mechanism which encourages semantically similar inputs to have similar activation patterns and reduce overlap with semantically dissimilar inputs. It allows us to control the degree of overlap between neural activations 
of samples belonging to different tasks while also encouraging the samples belonging to the same class to utilize a similar set of units. Overall, activation sparsity, together with semantic dropout, provides us with an efficient mechanism for balancing the reusability and interference of features depending on the similarity of classes across the task. Furthermore, inspired by the interaction of multiple memory systems in the brain, in addition to a fixed size instance-based episodic memory, SCOMER builds a long-term memory that consolidates and aggregates the acquired knowledge in the working memory while stochastically taking an exponential moving average of its weights during the training trajectory. The task-wise performance shows that the long-term memory effectively accumulates knowledge and generalizes well across the task. Now compare our method with the state-of-the-art rehearsal-based methods across different settings under uniform experimental conditions. Comer provides performance gains in the majority of the cases and demonstrates the effectiveness of our approach under varying challenging continuous learning scenarios. In particular, it provides considerable improvement under low buffer regime, which suggests that our method is able to retain more information with fewer samples from previous tasks. Furthermore, the gains in the GCIL setting, where the agent has to face the challenges of class imbalance and learn over multiple occurrences of objects, eludes the several advantages of our method. The proposed semantic dropout in conjunction with sparse activations enables the model to reuse the sparse code associated with the recurring object and learn better representations with the additional samples by adapting the corresponding subset of filters. Furthermore, the sparse coding in SCOMER leads to the natural emergence of subnetworks that provide modularity and protection to other parts of the network since the entire network is not updated for each input image. This essentially increases the robustness of the model to class imbalance. Overall, our method provides an effective approach to employ sparse coding in deep neural networks and enables better utilization of long-term memory which can effectively consolidate information across the task and further mitigate forgetting. Further insights into the contribution of each component of our method, we systematically add them on top of the baseline experience replay method and evaluate the gain in performance of the model. Sparsity in activations and the long-term memory individually leads to considerable performance gains over experience replay, which shows the benefits of both sparsity and multiple memory systems in enabling efficient continuous learning in deep neural networks. Combining them together further improves the performance, suggesting that sparsity enables the efficient utilization of memory. Finally, adding semantic dropout pr provides the highest performance, which demonstrates its effectiveness in enforcing sparse coding on the representation of the model which reduces the interference between tasks and allows semantically similar classes to share information. The ablation study shows that the individual components complement each other and the combined effect leads to the observed performance improvement in our method. Evaluate the effectiveness of activation sparsity and semantic dropout in enforcing sparse coding in the model, we look at the average activity of the units in the penultimate layer. We observe a high correlation between the test set activation counts and the semantic dropout probabilities at the end of training, particularly for recent classes, which shows that the model is able to retain the sparse codes that were learned during the training procedure. The activation counts also hint at the natural emergence of semantically conditioned subnets as the model utilizes a different set of units for different classes, leading to reduced interference. Furthermore, we observe that semantically similar classes have a high degree of correlation between their activation patterns. For instance, cat and dog share the most effective neurons, and a similar pattern is observed between horse and deer and car and truck, which uh, shows that the model is able to uh, reuse uh, the features well. Finally, we show that SCOMER leads to a more uniform performance across the task and mitigates the bias towards the last task. Overall, our study shows the effectiveness of incorporating sparse coding in multiple memory systems 
in mitigating, forgetting, and challenging continuing learning scenarios. And we hope that our study will inspire further research in the promising direction.